Our next guest are not only identical twins, but consider themselves to be really one person. Yeah, for more than 40 years, Bridget and Paula Powers from Australia have been speaking in unison, wearing matching outfits, and they share a room, and they've become an internet sensation as a result, and they join us now from Brisbane. Well, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you both, and greeting. <laughs> oh, my, this is like something out of Star Trek. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, look, you two, <laughs> you even laugh at the same way. We should try this. Um, <laughs> ladies, let me ask you. Uh, you obviously know each other better than anybody else. How identical do you think you are? Not just in the way you look, we can see that. But in terms of your personalities, yes. do you feel like you are really one person? Sometimes we do feel like just one person. Yes, yes we, we do. do. But we know, we know that, that we are individuals, individuals though. though. OK, I've got, to, <laughs> I've got to ask you, have you... It, it is extraordinary that you speak in unison. Sorry, how can is you that, keep a straight face? I'm That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It is extraordinary that you speak in unison, but I wonder whether, as I watch you, I'm wondering, do you prepare your answers? How do you know exactly what your twin is going to say? Well, I don't know. No, no, no it, it just it happens, happens automatically. automatically. We don't, don't know, know how like it happens. happens. Like some people go, go do you, you rehearse a conversation? I said, like, no. no. How, how can you rehearse a conversation? It's a bit, bit stupid. stupid. This is one of the greatest interviews I have ever conducted in my life. Do you mind that people laugh when they when they listen to you? Or does is that kind of does the, do you find that rude? Well, no, guess what? No. Yes, we know that we, we annoy, annoy a lot of people, people out there, there, but it's just, just like water, water running off a duck's back to us. <laughs> it doesn't bother <laughs> us one bit. <laughs> Can I ask you? <laughs> I mean, it's quite uh, funny. Do, do you allow men into your lives, ladies, or are they just too annoying to have around? No, we're very, very busy with our seabird rescue hub. At, at the moment, we've got no, no time, time for men in our lives. lives. We'd like giving <laughs> all our love, love to the wildlife. How much time well, do on, you spend... Can I have no, a supplementary? I'll have a supplementary. But, I mean, if a man did come into one of your lives somehow, I'm not quite sure how that would happen, what would happen? I mean... It, It'd be a bit strange, he wouldn't it? He hasn't got feathers. No, he hasn't, hasn't got, got feathers, feathers, so he's got so no hope. hope. <laughs> <laughs> so how much time do you ever spend apart pursuing your own interests, or is all your time spent together? Yeah, no, all, all our, our time, time is spent, spent together, together we because, go because we have our well, um, um, the same interests, interests and, and we go, go shopping, shopping together. together. We, we go, go and rescue, rescue together. together, we work with, as, as a, a great team, team together. together. Because we know, know what, what one another's thinking, thinking and, and we know, know what, what to, to do, do together get, when we rescue a big bird, bird as the pelicans. pelicans. What's the longest amount of time you've <gasps> ever spent apart? Um, um, mm. Oh, not hardly, hardly any, any time, time apart, apart, really. really. I mean, like, a, a day? A, a, Ten minutes? No, we've no. never spent a day, day apart. apart. No. 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 So you because literally spend all your time every day this close to each together. other? Yes. Yes, yes that's we try. right. And we never we get, get sick, sick of one another or anything. Because okay, we have right. people coming up to okay. us and saying, do you get sick of one another? And we, and we say, say no. no. OK, let me ask, oh. let, me ask, uh, let me ask each of you, what is the most annoying thing about the other one? So, Bridget, what's the most, most annoying, annoying thing about one another? another? Well, oh. well, actually, we'd be talking, talking about, about ourselves, so we, we can't, can't answer, answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, in when you individually, I mean, if we, if we said to Bridget, what's your favourite thing in the world, what would you say? Oh, my favourite thing in the world would be is we just love what we're doing, rescuing wildlife. Life. And, yeah. and we always love, love the seabirds. We love to, to one, one day, day to get to the Galapagos Islands, Islands to see, see all, all the wildlife, wildlife and the, all, all the, the seabirds. Absolutely okay. extraordinary. And you obviously really, really like each other, right? Yes, 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 yes we, we are best of mates, mates and, and best, best of friends. friends. And well, we love one, one another. another. 
Do you know, I, you're, you're magnificent. I, I love it. And, and I think, you know, you, you have been called names on the internet, mm. which I think is entirely unfair because you've obviously got a very happy way of life mm. and, and a very close relationship. So it's fantastic to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, no, and, no, and, and we, we thank, thank you for having us on your show. It's, it's, a, it's our pleasure. It's fantastic. Now back to Susanna and Piers, and I've just had a message actually Susanna from Piers. Piers. Sorry, it's I was Kate. just about to say. In what universe could you possibly no, mistake Kate Garraway? I don't think insulted me or him. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I was about to say, I've just had a message from Piers on Twitter, so my mind was elsewhere because we were talking about the fact. Piers Morgan, oh, Well, don't 